Good morning on this beautiful, hot Father's Day. We give God all the glory and honor and praise. And we thank God for the number one Father, a Father of us all, God the Father. Hallelujah. We thank God for the Son and the Holy Spirit. And we thank God for all those fathers who are standing on truth, who's taking care of families, doing the right thing. And we also pray for those fathers who might be struggling in any way, shape, or form. We pray the peace of God, the power of God, the love of God to overflow their hearts and minds and that they would make a turn for the best, to be the best father that they can be. Hallelujah. We just trust that God is in control of our lives and we thank God because it's in Him we live, it's in Him we move, and it's in Him we have our being. And when we allow God to be number one, hallelujah, things begin to fall in place. Order comes, peace, joy, all the things that come along with a happy life, hallelujah, a trusted life, a better life, hallelujah, it's all in Christ Jesus. Notice, it's not in the material things, it's not in the uh, temporal things, but it's in the eternal things. Set your affection on things which are above and not beneath. Hallelujah. All the things that we see, all the things that we possess are temporal. It's not going to last. You cannot take it to your grave. Praise be to God. And when we pass on somebody else, it's going to have it all. Hallelujah. Or it's going in the garbage. But, hallelujah, to trust and believe and to walk by faith in the things of Christ Jesus. It's an eternal walk. It starts now, hallelujah, and we begin to operate in victory. We begin to operate in peace because he is our victory. He's Jehovah Nissi, he is our peace, Jehovah Shalom. So we just thank God for him, but the truth is in the word. Go to the word, we have to go to the word of God. The Bible says study to show thyself approve unto God says the workman needing not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We've been reading out of Psalms 119, and one of the things that we ask you to do is read, read. We have not been exegeting the scriptures and telling you what thus said the Lord and who said what. We want you to read and allow the Holy Spirit to speak to your heart. As a believer, if you've never given your heart over Jesus, give your heart over now. But as a believer, you have a right Hallelujah, the tree of life. You have a right to know what God is saying to your heart. He wants to speak to your heart as a believer, but you have to go back and read and you have to study. If you are not a believer, if you've never given your heart over Jesus, won't you do so now? Say, Dear Heavenly Father, come into my heart. I believe you died on the cross and rose from the dead. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart today. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart to stay. Hallelujah. I thank you. Hallelujah for your death. I thank you for your burial, Lord Jesus, and your resurrection. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for you giving your heart over to Jesus Christ, but now you need to read, you need to study, you need to meditate on God's word. Meditate on God's word day and night and observe to do all that is written there. You cannot just be a hearer of the word, you have to be a doer. Start by reading. And that's one of the things that I've been encouraging you to do, encouraging myself in the Lord, studying, reading, praying, seeking God's face. Hallelujah. So we were at, uh, left off last week from Psalms 119. Praise be to God, and we thank God for the trains that are going by outside. But Psalms 119, and we're going to start at the 11th verse, chapter 119. Hallelujah, starting at the 11th verse. Matter of fact, let's start at the 9th verse. 8th, 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 8th. It says, I will observe your statues. Do not utterly forsake me. How can young people keep their way pure? Yeah. Young people, listen. How can young people keep their way pure? By guarding it according to your word. Hallelujah. Thy word have, have, have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Young folk, you're struggling, having a hard time. It, it, hallelujah. The way of the transgressor is hard. 
You begin to stand on God's promises and read God's promises, praise be to God, you begin to operate in victory. Especially in a time like this. These are some mean, evil times. I know you heard this over and over again, but this these are the last days. And you need to begin to stand on God's promises. You need to trust that God is speaking to your heart. But you have to open up your heart to hear. He that has, has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. Holly, it's not enough for you to just get up and, and go to church. That's awesome. The Bible says, forsake not the assembling of ourselves together. As others which have no hope, we should go and be in fellowship. But praise be to God, you have to go back. Whatever the preacher says, hallelujah, the bishop says, the elder says, you must go back and study. You must go back and read, meditate on God's word day and night. Hallelujah. It says, meditate on God's word day and night. It says in, in, in Psalms 119, how can young people keep their way pure? That is the question. Hallelujah. By guarding it according to your word. Hallelujah. I'll read it again. How can young people keep their way pure? People want to know, what's the victory? What's the key? How do you stand on God's promises by his word? If you're going to stand on God's promises, you have to know what God's promises say. Let me read it again. How can young people keep their way pure? By guarding it according to your word. Verse 10. With my whole heart, I seek you. Do not let me stray from your commandment. I treasure your word in my heart so that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips, I declare all the ordinance of your mouth. Hallelujah. With my lips, I declare all the ordinance of your mouth. I delight in the way of your decrees as much as as in all riches i will meditate on your precepts fix my eyes on your ways i will delight in your statutes i will not forget your words i know some of you are saying ah well it's not important to read i i, I want to emphasize it i can't emphasize it enough that you need to read hallelujah as a believer it's not enough to say i'm a believer Believers read, believers study God's word, believers meditate on God's word day and night. Hallelujah. When we allow God's word to operate in our life, all the things we just read, praise be to God, we begin to walk in victory. Uh, again, verse 15 says, I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. Hallelujah. His ways are far above our ways. We can't even compare. We're trying to figure out what to do, how to seek the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom and all these things will be added unto you. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your words. Oh, hallelujah, it's so simple. Hallelujah, to forget. Hallelujah, you get so tied up in the cares of this life. It's so simple to get uh, tied up in the deceitfulness of riches. And we've read and we understand that it chokes the word of God and we become unfruitful. We've got to stand on God's promises. We've got to read God's word. We have to meditate on it day and night. Hallelujah. And observe to do all according that is written therein. It says, deal bountifully with your servants so that I may live and observe your word. Hallelujah. Open my eyes so that I may see. Hallelujah. We're not just talking about seeing in the natural. We're talking about operating in the spirit. You operate in the spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Hallelujah. You begin to see in the spiritual realm. See what God is speaking to your heart concerning your family, concerning your neighbors, concerning your community. Hallelujah. Concerning the spirit of God operating in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Open my eyes. Hallelujah, not just my natural eyes. I want to see. I want to see beyond, hallelujah, the temporal things. I want to operate in the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. It says, so that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. And it's appropriate to understand this very important piece. That it's not just meditating on anything. There are people who meditate all day and all night, but it's not on God. 
It's on God's word. Listen to what it says. Wondrous things. This will open my eyes so that I may behold wondrous things out of your law, your words. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not something that someone else told me, not some uh, cult, uh, some other entity that's speaking to me. No, it's God's word. God's word have, 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 I, have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against God. It says, I live as an alien in the land. Do not hide your commands from me. My soul is consumed with longing for your ordinance at all times. Hallelujah. We ought to be hungry for God's word. Hallelujah. We ought to, oh, taste and see that the word of God is good. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ought to spend time. Hallelujah. Trusting. Hallelujah. Being sensitive to what God is saying to the body of Christ, to the believer, and anyone who would receive, as many as receive him to them, gave you power to become sons and daughters of the Most High God. Hallelujah, what a powerful uh, testimony it is to know that Jesus is the center and the core of your life on a daily basis. It says, you rebuke the insolent, a core, a accused, a, a cursed one, who wanders from your commandments. Take away from me their scorn and contempt, for I have kept my decrees, even through princes still plotting against me, even though princes still plot against me, even though princes sit plotting against me, your servant will meditate on your statutes. Hallelujah. No matter what comes or goes, you're going to stand on God's promises. Again, even though princes sit plotting against me, there's a plot against you. Hallelujah. Your servant, hallelujah, will meditate on your statutes, on your word. Your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Hallelujah. So we're looking for people and we're looking for people to tell us what to do and how to do it. And God has some awesome people in place, hallelujah, to work with us and to minister to us. But let me tell you this, it is so important, it is so valuable to you that you have this one-on-one -on -one relationship that you can go straight to the Father. Listen, your decrees are my delight. How is that possible? Because I'm reading it, I'm studying it, I'm meditating on it day and night. I'm observing to do all of it that's written in it. How it is blessing me, it's strengthening me. How it is causing me to operate in victory. I'm walking in healing, praise be to God. I'm protected from the wiles of the devil, the schemes of the devil. How? Because of God's word, hallelujah. Thy word has I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. We're not sinning because the word is in our heart, it is in our spirit. Hallelujah. Even though princes sit plotting against me, your servant will meditate on your statutes. Your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Praise be to God. My soul clings to the dust. Revive me according to your word. When I told of my ways, you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous works. We're meditating on all kinds of things. Sports, football, education, all these things are good, important. You know, we enjoy those things, but we ought to spend time. Our time should be devoted to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I will meditate on your wondrous works. Hallelujah, that's how you operate in victory. That's how you operate in peace. Hallelujah. That's how you're able to share the gospel, the good news to so many. Jesus Christ is soon to come, and it is his will that none should perish. Hallelujah. And we are soldiers in the army of the Lord. And our job is to go into all the world and preach the gospel. Our job is to fight the good fight of faith. Our job is to stand on God's promises, and after everything we've done to stand, we're standing. We're not hanging in there. We're not holding on. We're standing. Praise be to God. 
This is my soul melts away from sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. The peace and the victory is in the word of God. Put false ways far from me and graciously teach me your law. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. It's a choice. It's a choice. Like I said, go back and read God's word. It's not enough for me to tell you what does said the Lord. It's a personal relationship. Abba wants to talk to you. It doesn't need the middle man. We thank God for the Holy Spirit. The Father's on the Holy Spirit. But in, in, in terms of the middle man, praise be to God, you can go directly to the Father. It says, put false ways far from me and graciously teach me your law. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. He said, if you be faithful over a few things, I'll make you rule over many. I set your ordinance before me. I cling to your decrees. Oh, Lord, let me not be put to shame. I run the way of your commandments, for you enlarge my understanding. Standing in, on the promises of God, reading God's word. Listen, I have chosen the way of faithfulness. Hallelujah. I have cho It's a choice. It's a choice. No one's going to force you to make it. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I set ordinance, ordinance before me. Keep the word of God before you. We get on TV. We watch movies. We do all these other things. I'm not saying you can't do all that. But I'm telling you, when you begin to meditate on God's promises, all those other things become non-void to you. Nobody has to tell you, you shouldn't watch this. You shouldn't see this. You shouldn't do this. It won't even be in your spirit to do. You be at so much peace in God's love and in God's word. It's like you don't have time to be wasted on uh, just things that's not prevalent to your life, your everlasting life. It says, I cling to your decrees. Oh, Lord, let me not be put to shame. I run the way of your commandments for you enlarge my understanding. In all our ways, hallelujah, acknowledge him, and he will direct our path. Lean not to your own understanding, and all your ways acknowledge him. Hallelujah. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I will observe it to the end. Give me understanding that I may keep your law and observe it with my whole heart. Listen, we, we need to be asking God, hallelujah, for the truth to be Put into our spirit, man, that as we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil. As we uh, walk in a troubled world, we stand as conquerors. We're more than conquerors. Why? Because we have God's truth. We have God's word. God's word is hitting our heart, praise be to God. And we begin to operate in understanding. In all our getting, we get understanding. He said, understand, give me understanding that I may keep my your laws and observe it with my uh, whole heart. It's not enough to be a hearer word, but you have to be a doer. You have to observe, but do what the word of God says. Let me, uh, lead me in the path of your commandments for I delight in it. Turn my heart to your decrees and not to selfish gain. Listen, you've got to read. What do you want? How simple do you want it? Just read God's word. Don't, don't, yes, a lot of folks going to be explaining to you every verse and every passage, and that's what they're called to do. Praise be to God. That's awesome. But I decree and declare to you, if you would read God's word with simplicity, he'll speak to your heart. Personal. It's a personal relationship. It's personal. Yes, we could go through the preachers and yes, we could go through the teachers, but there is nothing like you having that personal conversation with him, that personal relationship. Hallelujah. Through the reading of his word. Read. Just start reading. Help the Holy Spirit will begin to bring the truth to you, begin to open up truth to you. Hallelujah. It says, turn my heart to your decrees and not to selfish gain. Something has to happen to you. Turn my heart, the spirit man has to, hallelujah, go in the direction of God. The spirit, let thy spirit, thy, the Holy Spirit operating with our spirit, praise be to God. If you walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Turn my eyes from looking vanity, at vanities 
Give me life in your ways. Confirm to your servant your promises, which is for those who fear you. Hallelujah. Turn away the disgrace, disgrace that I dread, for your ordinance are good. See, I have longed for your precepts. In your righteousness, give me life. Hallelujah. We are right standing, hallelujah, with God Almighty, right standing He because of the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And as we begin to trust God, again, this is our trust in God. Hallelujah, we, we, we're not leaning to our own understanding. It looks dark, it looks hard, it looks, it, it looks gray, but praise be to God, regardless to what it looks like, hallelujah, we see beyond the clouds, we see beyond the darkness, we see the light of God shining in our hearts. We see peace and victory. Even in the time of war, our hearts are at peace. Our spirit is at peace. Our mind is at peace. Hallelujah. It says, let your steadfast love come to me, O Lord. We're in Psalms 119, verse 41. Your salvation according to your promise. Then I shall have an answer for those who taunt me, for I trust in your word. Do not take the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for my hope is in your ordinance. Even, 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 even as we speak, when we speak, we have to speak true. We have to speak according to God's word. Watch what you say. Again, life and death is in the power of the tongue. Hallelujah, when you open up your mouth and when you begin to speak and you begin to talk, allow the Holy Spirit to speak to your heart. Be sensitive to what the Spirit of God said. How do you do that? Through reading God's word. The Holy Spirit will bring it back up to you in your remembrance. Hallelujah. And you'll begin to understand, praise God, beyond what you see, beyond what it feels like, beyond what it looks like. Hallelujah. You begin to see beyond that. Praise be to God. Why? Because of the Spirit of God operating in your life and in your heart. It says, Then I shall have an answer for those who taunt me, for I trust in your word. Hallelujah. You did not take the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for my mouth is your ordinance. I will keep my law continually, forever and ever. I shall walk in liberty. For I have sought your precepts. I will also speak on your decrees before kings and shall not be put to shame. I find my delight in your commandment because I love them. I revere your commandments with love and I will meditate on your statutes. We're gonna stop right there. But you have an awesome responsibility Notice, notice, notice what the writer in Psalms uh, praise be, is, is saying to you. You have to go back and do these things. He says, I will, I shall, I will study, I will read. I, listen, you cannot put this on somebody else. You have to, listen, I will also speak. I find, I revive. You know, it's all about, I will keep your commands. I shall walk in liberty. It's about you. Trust in God. Hallelujah. Lean not to your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge Him. Hallelujah. It's a personal relationship. Yes, you go to church. Yes, you are in fellowship. But do you have a relationship with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Are you a child of the Most High God? I'm not just talking about a church goer. Uh, you, you, you would assume just because a person go to church that they have this relationship. Not, not it's, it's, it's not, I hate to say it, but it ain't necessarily so. Hallelujah. You have to walk in his grace and in his peace. How? Through the power of the Holy Spirit. You could begin to walk in victory. You could begin to walk in health. But you have to read. Read God's word. 
Hallelujah. Say, God, open my understanding. He said, lean not to your own understanding. In all my ways, acknowledge you. So open up my understanding that I may know what the Spirit of God is saying to me. And as you begin to read God's Word and study God's Word, whatever anybody tells you, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit will confirm it or and the Holy Spirit would even give you truth that you have not heard or they have not received as of yet. The Spirit of God wants to speak to your heart, but you have to get over this challenge to read. You have to get over saying, I'm not really a reader. I can't read. I don't like to read. I don't like people reading to me. No, 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 no. You have to read God's Word. Go to God and say, God, I need strength. I need help. Hallelujah. In my journey in meditating on your word. How you gonna meditate on God's word and don't read it? Oh yeah, I know you heard Bishop say this. I know you heard the pastor say this. I know you heard individuals say certain things that has blessed your heart. But boy, when you hear it and receive it for yourself, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each and every person under the sound of this message. We pray that they will go back and read. And as you uh, read, God is going to open up your understanding. Lean not to your understanding. He's going to open up your understanding. You're going to have clarity when you read it. Praise be to God. It's going to bless you. It's going to take you to another level in the spiritual realm. Father God, we just thank you for boldness. We just thank you for the, the individuals being encouraged in their walk with Christ Jesus. We pray, Father God, for those who don't know Jesus, we give their life to Jesus now. Hallelujah. Won't you invite them? And if you've never given your life over to Jesus, you might be going to church. You might, you know, uh, 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 be uh, believing in God to a great extent. But you'll never say, Lord, come into my life. You've never invited them into your life. Say, here, Heavenly Father, come into my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe you died on the cross. I believe you are the soon coming King. Hallelujah, thank you for saving me in Jesus' name. And as you read God's word, hallelujah, you begin to grow in the things of God. You begin to operate in victory and sharing the good news, going through all the world and preaching the gospel. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. In Jesus